you alluded to some of the wild stories that you had when you played overseas talking about people um uh lighting up flares in in the crowd and you talked about the passion of the italian fans which is something that's been said on the podcast before uh we want to know what is the wildest experience you had overseas in terms of basketball yeah i mean there, there's been some crazy ones uh just thinking about it um but one <laughs> one i feel comfortable sharing on air uh we, <laughs> it was uh I, I won't say the I won't say the team. I won't say the team, but I'll say the country. It was in Italy. Um how could I have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> it was in Italy and uh we had played a we had played a road game against a um local rival, local local rival. So so a derby game is what they're called out here, you know, team that's relatively close to you. So it's a, it's a derby game, a rivalry game. Mm -hmm. Went on the road there, and we lost. And uh, this is just normal in Italy. You take like when you when you travel, you'll get a police es escort. That's just pretty standard uh, when you travel on the road. So this particular one, especially because it was a derby game, we got the police. They typically escort you like thirty minutes, your first thirty minutes of the drive, and then they let you they let you go by yourself the rest of the way home but because this ride was so short with this particular game they escorted us from the road game all the way back to our city so when we got back to our city where we lived at and when i say we like my teammates we all lived in this general same area when we pulled up with the police in front of us on our bus our fans, and when I say fan, like not five fans, 10 fans, like 50, 60, 70 people were outside of where we lived, screaming, yelling, lighting things on fire, uh, breaking things just outside. Like we were petrified to just get off the bus. Like they were going nuts. And uh, they were angry that we lost. I mean, and then again, it's a rivalry game. And we weren't doing too well at this point. So we finally, you know, the police were there. So we finally got escorted. We kind of found a way to get escorted into our area. And uh, we we just kind of turned around. And our management is fighting with these people. When I say fighting, I mean, like, really, like, face-to-face, -face, like, going at it with these fans. And... Uh, it was one of the few times that I felt, and I was I was young at this time. It was one of the few times that I felt a little bit scared. You know, the people are crazy. People yell, throw things, whatever. But there was one of the few times where I felt scared in my in my career for sure. So, so that that was wild. That was wild for sure. I thought they were gonna come in my house. They knew where I lived clearly. So it was it was crazy for sure. Hello, and thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a like, and you can watch more videos over here. Uh, you can also click subscribe over here so you're notified when we have new content here on Expat Hoops.